So hello, I'm Steve Drummond from Electrogenic. Um, we thought we'd do a little series uh, with a vehicle to show you how we go through the process and what we think about. And so we've chosen this beautiful Series 2A Land Rover. So Series 2A Land Rover, it's a lovely example. Um, as you, as uh, followers, uh, our followers on uh, social media will know, we've done a lot of Land Rover Defenders, so later models, but this is a lovely early model. Um, so what did we do first when we received this? Well, first of all, actually, um, we fixed up the petrol engine a little so it was, uh, we were able to drive it and we get, get a feel for it as it was designed. Um, as it was designed, you don't usually, you don't really use need first, and you certainly won't when it's electric. Um, it's a little bit sensitive uh, on the throttle, um, but it keeps going and, and it's, a, it's a great vehicle. What it means when you're driving on the road, it's quite fussy, you have to change gears quite a lot, so that's something that we could perhaps do something about. So, the first thing we're thinking about when we do the conversion is, um, how is a vehicle going to be used? What's its original character? What's it going to be used for? So this could be used on-road, off-road. Um, importantly, this vehicle is going to be used on the farm, it's going to be used locally, it's not going to do massive road trips. So super fast charging is not an important thing. So that means we can opt for a low voltage system, um, which is cheaper, quite versatile, really lovely system to fit. Um, what that leads us to is a Hyper 9 motor. It has uh, more, about 50% more power, 50% more torque than the original. In fact, uh, if you couple this, uh, the motor directly into the transfer box, uh, put the transfer box in low, you have enough of a, uh, of a reduction there to be able to drive um, the vehicle perfectly nicely um, without the gearbox at all. So we had a big debate about, do we keep the gearbox um, and have the gears, which is fun, it's more versatile, or do we have a really smooth driving, automatic driving experience um, by taking the motor, putting it directly into the transfer box and leaving the gearbox out of the vehicle. Uh, after a big debate, what we decided is, no, we're going to keep the gears. Um, it's a lot of fun. It means you have high and low. It gives you versatility on the road and off. Probably on the road, you're only ever going to drive it in third. So it will drive like an automatic, but when you're off-road, you have the option of all the gears. So that's our initial thoughts. The broad picture of how, how we design it. Um, and next episode, we'll talk to you a little bit about what we're going to do next.